I just got back from seeing Thanksgiving, the new horror film from Eli Roth. Thanksgiving, as everyone knows, started off as a fake trailer for the movie event Grindhouse, a collaborative film from Quentin Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez. In the middle of this movie, quote unquote, it was a bunch of fake trailers from different directors. One of these movies was Thanksgiving, a really bizarre, off the wall, over the top tribute to exploitation and mostly sad. 70s type of slasher movie and from the trailer alone, it looked like a really fun movie. Now, all of these years later, we finally get a film version of Thanksgiving. Now, the 70s and 80s slasher aspect of that original fake trailer has kind of felt almost ancient and nearly redundant by then. So, for this movie version of the fully fledged Thanksgiving, Eli Roth opted to go for a more 90s, early 2000s slasher revival for this. And honestly, I think it worked really well for the movie. There's elements of so many things here. I guess most notably there's elements of Scream that was really appreciated, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Firstly, one of the main things I think that I had a lot of fun with in this movie was the gore. The violence in this movie, as promised from the fake trailer alone, is extremely over the top. The movie starts with what is probably such a ruling depiction of a Black Friday riot. You see a lot of these riots happening on like the news and you never expect them to get as bad as you would probably imagine. This this movie takes it pretty much as far as you can go with something like this. It's an incredible piece that's commenting on consumerism and capitalistic greed. Honestly, the scene as a whole is just such a delight and such a disturbing watch. The rest of the movie delves into a whodunit type of slasher that essentially feels like a R-rated Scooby-Doo episode, but that's with a lot of these types of whodunit type of movies. The acting in this movie was pretty good. Patrick Dempsey it plays the sheriff of this town that they're in called Plymouth. I wouldn't know it myself, but he plays the role of the sheriff pretty well. He's given some really good dialogue as well. Lots of surprisingly funny moments. I don't know any movies that Patrick Dempsey is in. I've seen a few, but not many enough to give a full opinion on his range, but I thought he was pretty great here. Not only is he given some funny shit to say, this movie in general is just so incredibly hilarious. I had no idea this movie was going to be as funny as it was. I thought it was kind of going to be more of a serious slasher, but considering how absurd the concept is, they pretty much lean into its absolute insanity, and everything is amped up to 11 with how over the top it is. And yeah, there's just some just genuine good banter between characters, pretty funny scenarios that are happening in almost chilling sequences, but not done in a cringe way. It really does give off that 90s horror comedy feeling to it. The score in this movie was really great too. It was such an old school feeling to it. and every scene it was and in many of the scenes the score really fit the tone for everything that was happening a lot of people would argue that this is eli roth's objectively first genuinely good movie which is probably a good sign for his upcoming borderlands movie despite the writer of that movie opting out of it completely and not wanting their name attached to it i however hold a very special place in my heart for the original hostel i think it's a good movie maybe not in the sense of it actually being a well-made and competent movie, but Hostel is an incredibly entertaining gore fest, just like this one. Except the only difference between Hostel and Thanksgiving is that there seems to be a lot of maturity here, and a lot of emphasis is put on character building and just an overall really good story. I guess some of the only complaints that I have is that while it's handled well, this movie is does still fall victim to the ever-growing trend of horror movies being set in the modern day. It's something that's kind of hard to adjust to, seeing people in horror movies just trying to use their phones. I say trying because there is one scene where a character does try to use their phone to get out of a situation, but in a comedic way it doesn't work. But setting it in modern day sometimes feels like taking away from a lot of the peril that you can put certain characters in. But despite the modernization of the slasher genre in this movie, I think 
think Eli Roth managed to handle it well. On top of this, Eli Roth decided to cast a TikToker in the movie, a woman called Addison Rae, and I was very skeptical about her being in the movie, but while her character doesn't have an incredibly major role, whenever she was on screen, I wasn't bothered by her presence. She was actually pretty competent in her acting. I guess being in this movie under a competent enough director managed to put in a pretty decent performance. Overall, this was such a fun ride to watch. I was smiling wide cheek to cheek the entire way through this thing. Maybe that's just because I'm a sick bastard. And don't get me wrong, there is so many disturbingly twisted things in this movie. But it's, at the same time, such a delight. I honestly feel like Thanksgiving is going to go down as being a modern classic, if not an absolute cult classic. I'm giving Thanksgiving four and a half stars. An incredible entry into the slasher genre that while it doesn't really do anything too different with it, it manages to still be unique in its own festive special way.